In this how-to video guide, we're going to learn how to write data into MongoDB using Pentaho's data integration. I'm in Pentaho Data Integration's graphical editor. First thing I'm going to do is create a new transformation. And in order to write data to, uh, to MongoDB, we have to read it from somewhere. Um, we can read from lots of different places, various flat file formats, web services, applications, databases, etc. We're going to do a simple example from a text file. So I bring this in here. Double click to edit it. I'm going to browse and find our um, page successions file. I'm going to add that to my list of files. Then I'm going to go to the fields tab. I'm going to go let PDI look inside the file to bring the fields out. At this point, I can preview the data. So here's the data that's in the text file. We've got information about the, the URLs on a website and how often the users transferred between any one page and any other page. We'll say OK to close this. Now we need a MongoDB output step. Let me drag this in. First thing I'm going to do is connect the two steps together. Then I'm going to edit the MongoDB output step. I'm going to put my information in here. Uh, I need to authenticate. We're going to create a new database. And we execute this and a new collection called page successions. And we truncate the collection every time. Now we need to specify the fields that we want in the, the Mongo documents. We'll click on get fields to populate the list. Uh, there's a unique key in there which we don't need since MongoDB is going to generate keys for us. Um, I'll take the rest of the fields. I'm also going to specify that I want a an index. I'm going to create a non-unique index on the URL field. And then I can save this transformation before we run it. I'm going to call this populate MongoDB page successions. And now we can run the transformation. The panel down the bottom shows us the uh, the progress being made. If there's any errors, these lines will light up in red, and you can use the logging tab to uh, to see what those errors are. But at this point, we have uh, written information into the Mongo database and collection that we specified, and we can go and check that using the the Mongo command line. So I'm going to pull from the pages sections, and here you can see that in those collection is some of the data from the uh, from the text file. So we've shown how we can read data from uh, one of a number of different sources and write that data into a MongoDB collection. That was a quick video guide on how to write data into MongoDB using Pentaho data integration.